really starting to piss me off. I, I came here to get help for me. I'm here to help me, right? Why the fuck you keep reminding me how fucked up everybody else is? I told you, you do something to me. I do something to you. You do something to me, I do something to you. Revenge was life for me, God. I don't want to fucking talk about Ashley. Let it go, God. Let it go. I just wanted to have fun. You know, that's it. It wasn't until I was laying there, bleeding out, that it hit me. Nobody loves me. Nobody loves me. If somebody does something to me, dog, I cannot let it go. Vengeance is life. You know, that's, it's my protection too. Somebody does something to me, I do something to them to make sure they'll never try me again. To never be tested, to never be questioned. I'm a fighter. That's who I am. Love wasn't a big thing. It was a portal. People love me, I get what I want. But in reality, nobody loves me. What took you so long? It's only been 20 minutes. It's been 30 minutes. Like, what, did you take a long way today? No. Sean. We both know that you'll tell me everything. What took you so long? You don't tell me everything either, Clint. You've been here for a long time and I still don't know what really happened to you. You know that I've been stabbed. You know that somebody left me to die and you know I can't see for help. But what do you need to know? Do you trust me? I actually do. I actually do, and, and that's something hard for me to say. It's obvious you've been here for months, so it's like you don't have nowhere to go. What's your point, Sean? Like, why do you keep reminding me of that? I mean, Clint, it just seems like I'm the only person you're calling, you're not telling me nothing. Get back to it. 
Do something. I'm working on something. Now, I'm trying to get it planned all out. Once it's mapped out, I'll make sure you're taken care of forever. <laughs> yeah, I. So I don't, I don't have a, a reason to lie to you. I mean, it's obvious I don't have nothing. And you're the first person in a long time that came wanting nothing from me. I'm staying here with you at your fucking bud's house. So, how do you plan on getting this money? And when is this plan for the growth of action? Like, you're just talking. I had some money stashed in the account. And my dumb ass sister lost all of it. <laughs> that sounds like something Kiko would do. No, sure. Now what? His name is Keith. <sighs> what do you mean, Doc? I was raped. Okay. My grandfather molested me. And that was my fault. I should have told my grandmother. I was dumb for not telling my grandmother. She would have protected me. She was the only person that, that loved me. What was I supposed to say? What do you say? I know that you hate talking about your son, Kiko, who's really your daughter. But we can talk about her some other day because I don't feel like arguing with you today. I'm tired of shit. I'm feel like this. Good. Well, I think that's best, Sean. Mm. If you want me to help you out, you gotta let a lot of shit go. Why do you want to help me, Sean? Why? I remember when you couldn't even stand me unless I was fucking that pretty ass. So, yeah, I hated you. I really did. So what changed? <laughs> Seeing you like this, helpless, stressed, dependent on me for everything. <sighs> Life really humbled the fuck out of you, didn't it? I didn't mean to laugh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Laugh, it's alright. I'm sorry. I've been here before. Lost everything. <laughs> People have always tried. But they failed. They failed. But who is they? You're not saying nothing. The ones to try to rob me for what was rightfully mine. Sure. Is is that why you're so controlling? I guess I can get it. I don't have a choice but to be controlling, Sean. I came from nothing. Nothing. And no matter how many times I keep getting knocked down, I never ever go. So yes, that's why I'm so controlling. I get it now. I understand. I know you do. Come here. Clint, it's, it's too hot. Come, come here. here. Please, come here.
She was a fucking bitch. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, dog. I loved her. But she was. She is. She's a fucking bitch. And at first, it was sexy. Like, you know. And then it went from being sexy to her being a bitch all the time. Always talking at me, never to me, talking down on me. And this bitch, like, she, no matter what I did, she made me feel like she stepped down to be with me. Like I was fucking beneath her. So I started fucking her friends, fucking her associates, you know? That wasn't enough though. The biggest thing was me fucking her best friend. They were like sisters. You see, Doc, you do something to me, I do something to you. <laughs> Why do you like trannies? Uh... Why do you like men? It's not that simple, Clint. I mean, I like what I like. And as much as you hate it, I loved Kiko. And she loved me. Fuck that up. I mean, it's just, I guess it's some part of me that don't know what I really want. I guess I know what you mean. Well, I know the feeling anyway. And I've loved women my whole life. Loved women. But as much as I loved them, like, when I was fucking them, it was just, it was something that didn't satisfy me, you know? Like, and when I'm with a nigga, it's just, it's just different. It's different. Yeah, it is. I hated this part of myself so long. Like, I hated this. It wasn't until I was laying there, dying. I felt myself dying. I realized then that as much as people hate me in this world, that shit is nothing compared to me hating myself. So, why didn't you just give up? I don't know. I really don't know. No. Why would my son want to? A fucking tranny, dog. Come on. You got all the answers, dog. You tell me. Who would choose to live like that? Who would choose to live a lonely gay life? Like, who would do that? And I feel like Tammy did that shit to spite me. I do. I, re I really do. I feel like Tammy did that shit to spite me. She encouraged him. She damn near put fucking heels on him. She poisoned my son. Fucking Tammy. She tried to poison my whole family against me. But my son. My son's a fucking he bitch. All because I didn't want him. I told her I didn't want no kids. I told her I didn't want no fucking kids. I can't do this. I'm going 
done? Just one so far. One? Man, you might as well not even go. Like, you, you could do better than that. I mean, what the fuck do you expect? You told me to stop. You the reason why I'm broke now, taking care of you. You might as well watch your fucking mouth, Sean. Don't forget who the fuck I am. Every time I say something back, you get a fucking attitude. You gotta remember, I'm not your fucking child, I'm your friend. I'm doing this for us. I gotta get money. You're right. You're right. I just... Well, I mean, you keep reminding me of the shit, though. Like, I'm just letting you fucking know because it seems like you're always forgetting that I'm taking care of you. <laughs> I'm glad I'm starting to see some of me rub off on your ass. Your fucking mouth. I just don't need you talking to me any type of way. I already got to take all this shit from these nasty ass Johns and do all the shit I don't want to do. I don't need this shit here. You know, Sean, if you play your game right, you don't even got to fuck these niggas. It's about getting up in here. Once you get in their heads, you don't, you don't even got to touch them. They still just want dick and ass. Get it over with. And you got both. You got your stuff? Yeah, I don't need you checking on me every time I'm about to go out. I know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm not. I just want to make sure you got your shit. Uh, I'm good. I'll see you later. It might be time for you to start carrying something too, Sean. I make sure you protect yourself. All right. Doc, you really starting to piss me the fuck off. Like, you really starting to piss me off. I I came here to get help for me. I'm here to help me, right? Why the fuck you keep reminding me how fucked up everybody else is? I told you, you do something to me. I do something to you. You do something to me, I do something to you. Revenge was life for me, Doc. I don't want to fucking talk about Ashton. Let it go, Doc. Let it go. You know I love spending time with you, right? I hope you do. Well, why we always gotta meet in the basement? We can't go upstairs to a room or something. Oh, are you proposing we fornicate in my mother's bedroom? <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> thanks for coming. I know uh, it was last minute, but mom's away at a church event, so, you know, we've got some time. Well, I right. Let's get started. Yeah, not so fast. We can't just jump into it without talking first. So, how are you? I'm doing good, just working a lot, real busy. So, should I, don't you try to rush me. Don't you try to pull that shit. Jacob would always do that. Now I give a shit when I knew deep down that he loves me. Why are you always comparing me to Jacob? Me and him are nothing alike. I care for you. I'm not trying to rush you at all. I just got a sick friend to take care of. That's all. Oh, okay. I understand. You know, um, I like you. You make me want to be a better man. That's good. That's what I'm here for. So how you want to get started today? Well, have you read your Bible like I asked you to? All the time. Well, we're good. So you know we're not perfect, but God loves us anyways because we are special. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know that, right? We're special. Yeah. Well, we're really special. Good. So now we're going to pray. Let's pray. Come on. You know how to pray. Dear God, 
I ask that you protect my mommy and me from all evil. But most of all, I ask that you protect Jacob, who protected me from his devil mother who tried to kill me. May you bring down vengeance upon her. Eye for an eye, as you say. And uh, please protect Mr. Sean and uh, his sick friend. Amen. Amen. Okay, good. Now you're gonna fuck me and take no mercy on me. Ah, Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Ooh, how was that for a prostate massage, huh? <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, maybe next time we can uh, go bareback. Mmm, huh? nah, you ain't got enough money for that. I'll well, pay extra next time. Pay extra? This is not the amount that we agreed on. This shit is short. What the rest of my money? Oh, well, you know what? All right. Forgot about that. I will have more money next week, and I'll pay you double next time. I what, promise. What you think? I'm stupid or something? You're not new to this. You've been doing this for a while. This is the second time you done came up short, and you keep giving excuses. They said that she was a big spender. And you sip good. Since I started meeting you, you keep coming up short. And you barely tip and you got me doing all this freaky nasty shit. Okay, but you know what? Times are a little tough right now. My mom hasn't been so generous. I don't give a fuck about your mother. That's not my issue. Okay, you know what? Stop it. You shut the fuck up. I might have one eye, but I am not deaf, okay? I will have your money for you in a few days, okay? You want to keep your other eye? Have my money. Next time I get my money up front. Oh, babe, why do you have down? to be so nasty like that? Come on. Weird ass. I hired you. Come back. Mr. Sean, come back. Thank you for taking me to the movies. But that shit was whack. Damn. Tell me how you really feel. I mean, from the previews, I thought it was going to be much better. Next time, I'll let you pick the movie. I was surprised you actually kept the date. You did cancel on me three times, so I thought you were playing with me. Nah, it's nothing like that. I got a lot of shit going on, but I'm good now. You better be. I see those drinks before dinner got you feel right. You almost busted your ass earlier. No, I did not. Those drinks were mad strong. We have to go back to that restaurant again. Yeah, the food day, surprisingly, was good, based on the location. Yes, it was. I'm stuffed. Tonight was a good night. It was, and I had the best company. You sure did. I'd like to spend more time with you, if that's I with you. That would be dope. You sure know how to treat a lady. Thanks again for tonight. You're welcome. So, what do you like about me? You're gorgeous. What's the next like? Oh, well, thank you. I've been checking you out since you were with Kiko. <laughs> But you never noticed me. I remember you. I ain't know that you was trans or nothing like that. Kiko was the first. Yeah. That's the point. For people not to know. I don't like people in my business. 
for safety reasons, you know? So, why are you two not together? Honestly, I fucked up. You know, I cheated on her, and I'm only doing shit that Kiko don't approve of. Like what? Long story short, I started escorting. I needed the money. And that's it? <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, like, drugs or something. You don't think some of your body is serious? Well, it is. It's very serious. But girls like me do escort, and insurance only covers hormones. I did dabble into it. My family wasn't supportive at first. Then, you know, I seeked help from the agency, which is where I met Kiko. And she told me I would never have to do that again. Fortunately for Kiko, she had the support of her mother, so she didn't have to do all that. Thank God. Luckily. Can I have my bad. Slow down, though. You almost busted your ass earlier, remember? That's So, um, how you feel Kiko was lucky? She didn't have to sell her ass. And she had a man that loved her. Whenever I told my tea to a guy, all they ever wanted from me was head. That's going to just not That's not what I want to do. So, how did you get into it? <laughs> I uh, lost my job and shit got real out here. So I had to do what I had to do. I would see girls make two stacks in a couple of days. While I worked at CVS, busting my ass. The whole lifestyle is addicting. I just don't see myself doing that anymore. So, are you still escorting? Yeah, for now, but I'm not going to be doing this shit forever. I know that. Get in and get out. Don't get to the point where you get sucked in and you don't see yourself doing anything else. But I'm not holding it against you. I'm not judging you for how you make money. Just as long as you're doing it safely. But when I first met you, I knew you were different. It was crazy to let you go. I mean, I heard it. And now she don't have shit to do with me. <laughs> but I got over it. And I moved on. And from the looks of it, I moved on to bigger and better things. Um, the losses. How about this, Doc? You be that scrawny, broke, dirty kid from the projects that lives with his grandmother, his grandfather, and his sisters. I was bullied. Kids laughed at me. <laughs> Kids laughed at me. You do that, Doc. And tell me how much fucking self-esteem you would have. Thank you for inviting me to your friend's listening party. This music was kind of dope. Yeah, Ty really doing his thing. I'm glad you had fun. Yeah, I did. 
It was a little different for me, but it was alright. <laughs> I know. That's why I invited you. To my surprise, you handled yourself well around the girls. The girls? It was nothing but niggas in here. I keep forgetting, you knew to this lifestyle. I need to give you a crash course in gay shit 101. I'm not new to the lifestyle, it's just... I'm not the type of nigga that hang around the girls. You know what I'm saying? Okay, daddy. Why are you like me then? And who said that I liked you? Uh, what's not to like? I'm real cute in the face. My appetite in the waist. I mean... I like your confidence. You feminine. And you comfortable with yourself. That shit is a turn on to me. Good. Because I don't know how to be anyone but me. Usually dudes like to be with me behind closed doors. And then in public they want something different. <laughs> That's not going to happen. That's what I'm talking about. Your confidence. And I really need that. Because I'm trying to figure out some shit right now. I'm trying to figure out what I like. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you don't know who you are. I mean, I know who I am, but I'm just trying to figure out what I like sexually, so I'm just experimenting. Let me find out on some sort of project. No, nothing like that, but um, I'm definitely trying to experiment with you. Oh, yeah, Daddy? I ain't trying to experiment with me. My sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with Rhonda. Ronnie. We were kids, we called her Rara. Rara has always been a selfish bitch. Always. All she ever thought about was her next come up and her next place to get money. And I normally, that's not a problem. I get that. I get that. That I could respect. But I'm not fuck with her no more. She's played me for the last time. It's because of Rhonda I'm going through what I'm going through now. And she went inside my account and cleared me out like I was a stranger. <sighs> yeah. I'm not fucking with her no more. But Monica, <sighs> Monica's a rider. Monica is the definition a ride or die. She's a real stand-up woman. I will always respect Monica. Whether she speaks to me again or not, I, I will always respect her. I did Monica dirty. I did her dirty dog. I don't want to talk about, I don't want to talk about Monica. Used to what? Nothing. Just, just, just come on. Nah, say it. I'm not even trying to ruin a moment, so just come on. I think we need to get one thing straight. I'm verse. I don't give up my case until I sample yours. <laughs> I know that you said that you was verse. I didn't think that you actually was going to want to fuck me. Well, why not? I like ass too, and <laughs> yours is nice. Let me find out you just don't want a feminine dude topping you. You doing a lot of assuming. It just took me off guard. Just slow down a little bit, all right? Are you sure? A lot of masculine dudes like to run on my time and assume I'm a straight up bottom just because I'm femme. You got it all wrong. Just, I don't even care about all these labels. I think you sexy. Shut up and come in. <laughs>
Nigga, what are you looking at? I gotta take this. What? I gotta take this. Hey, Bambi, I'm not trying to dip out on you or nothing, but this is business, and I, I gotta take this. This, this work. But you got me so wet. I mean, we gonna see each other again, right? Of course. All right. I got you. Text me. My stash is building up nice. I just gotta get enough money to make it out of Eastern. It ain't shit for me here no more. I mean, Kayla fine ass and bang be freak ass, but I ain't let nobody hold me back. It's nothing here. I'm tired of fucking with this weirdo, but got money. You better have all my money up front or I ain't fuck with him no more. And I'm dead ass. See, Doc, what you need to understand is that when I left home, I never even planned on looking back. I took this silver tongue and this platinum dick and I used them to get everything that I needed. I mean, of course, I hurt people along my way. I hurt people. But when you're trying to get everything that you want, dog, nobody, and I mean nobody, should stand in your way. I don't know what I see when I look in the mirror. Maybe a lot of disappointment. I see a lot of regrets. But what I also see is a man that won't be kept down no matter what, no matter who. I don't care how hard they try to. What took your ass so long to get here, boy? I was waiting here two hours for you. <laughs> I was busy. You busy. Money. Oh, you gonna come here late and you gonna ask me for money? What am I, a bank? Is that all you want from me? You know what the Bible says about money? It's the root of all evil. Mm. I wanna spend time with your silly ass. Why don't you be good to me? That should be the only thing on your mind, treating me right. I could treat you right if you got my money. Okay. Let's see how you play. Take off your clothes. I want my money. Ooh, okay. Let's see who's the top. <laughs> All right, hundred dollar gift card, American Express. Use it wherever you like. A hundred dollars. Yeah, you use it at Whole Foods, Amazon. This is not half of what we discussed, and you still got debt from last time. The last two times, actually. Oh, Jesus Christ, fucking nigga. Yeah, take this. It's the Russell Simmons piece. You like that silver, diamonds. How do I know that this shit is real? You take it at the Christie's, Sotheby's. I'll tell you that shit is real. You good boy, take off your clothes. That's right. Fuck. Yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck. Oh, oh. oh man. Yeah, there you go. Oh, your amazing grace! How sweet the sound! Oh, oh. Well, yeah, Jesus! Oh, oh, so, oh, make me sin again. Save the wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind. But now I see Amazing Grace, you're my amazing grace. Ooh, yes. Ooh, amazing grace. I let people slide before. Derek. I let Derek slide. Derek. See Doc. Derek shot me. Derek shot me five times. Left me for dead. <laughs> he never paid for it. I let Derek slide. I don't know why. Don't get me wrong. I used Derek too. He was a pawn. And I lured him into the life. Well, my employees. 
my employees load them into the light. See, Derek really should be thanking me. To be honest, he should be thanking me. I found Derek a way to support himself, to make his own money. <laughs> He's good now. See, I believe we all have gifts. We all have gifts, though. Some mental, some physical. I just have to be somebody who has both. You know, persuasion. That was really nice. So, um, I remember you saying you had a girl. What happened to her? What made you ask me that? Oh, I'm just curious. I mean, when you spoke on it, it sounded like you missed being straight. <laughs> well, me and her broke up. I got another girl now just like her. Even better. Like her? What do you mean? Like her? It's a, a trans woman. Trans, like transgender? Like men dressing up like women? Nah. Transgender, they're women. With a penis? God doesn't like that shit, boy. I'm sad to say they're going to hell. But you know what? <laughs> so are we. So tell me. These women? Fuck you too. You are really starting to piss me off, okay? Watch your fucking mouth when you're talking about people. Fucking pathetic ass faggot. You know what? At least I'm not getting fucked by men with wigs. <laughs> You're fucking crazy. That's what the fuck is wrong okay, with you. Okay, you know what? Jacob would say that about me too. Listen to me Watch clearly. I am not crazy, okay? I'm not crazy. My mommy says I'm special. Do you understand that? You're pathetic. You gotta pay niggas to fuck you. Nobody wants to be around you. Fuck you. Get out of my house, boy. Leviticus 1022. Why don't you read that and get back to me? Dumbass nigga. Ashton. Doc. You keep trying to take me there. Okay. I cared about Ashton. I cared about Ashton. I loved him. I did. But Ashton let my ex-wife get into his head, dog. He didn't want to be patient. And I put in too much work to walk away with nothing. And then he let Winston, bitch-ass Winston, get in his head. The part that I can't get past. It's Ashton let Winston into his heart, dog. Winston? Ashton think that I used him. But the truth is, Ashton was a pawn to a lot of people. A lot of people. Even his best friend. Okay, Clint. I need you to relax. I'm doing my best to help you. So, tell me more about this Derek guy. Doctor, excuse me if I look puzzled or... I don't mean to laugh, but I just don't understand why I'm here. I really... I just can't call it. I don't know why I'm here, Doctor. I'm not the one who needs all this intensive lay-on-the-couch therapy shit. I did what I was supposed to do. I played my parts. I don't know why I'm here. And maybe you could ask Kevin, Clint, Carol, whatever the fuck your name is this week. Why am I here? This is what I deal with. And this, Dr. Rose, this, this, this is Tammy. This is Tammy. Hey, Tammy, how you doing? I didn't call you. I, 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 I didn't want you to be here. But the doctor felt like since you've been a topic of conversation, not past, but a topic of conversation that you should. We should see who you are. And I should, so I'm, I'm facing my demons. This is. How the fuck the devil gonna face a demon? I didn't want you to be here. But the doctor thought that it would be best if we started, instead of talking about us, you be the 
presence and thou. Thou past, thou hast changed. You do know Kiko's grown ain't no child no more, right? You miss all that child shit. You miss first grade. You miss picture day. You miss Halloween. You miss every damn Christmas you could. Child. Child. You talk to me as if I did never say to you, I don't want children. You, you act like we, that wasn't a conversation we had. Okay. Like you want every time we talk, you want to go right past that. I didn't ask for okay, this. Okay, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. You didn't get raped, bitch. Don't sit here and make it seem like somebody raped you. I'm just not ass. saying that, but I did not want children. Yeah, but you wanted to fuck though. Like you fucked everybody, men, women, everybody, everybody. You was oh. fucking everybody. Will you wait till now to tackle demons. You done ruined lives all over the place, you dirty dick motherfucker. You done done all kind of shit. Now you want to tackle demons. Kiko is grown, and Kiko don't need no father now, right now. Kiko's a grown ass woman living her own life. She don't need you no more. I'm the devil, but why are you so fucking angry? Why are you so fucking mad? Angry! Angry! Yes. I'm not angry, you know what I am? I am disgusted that I'm sitting here with your ass. You had all the time in the world to work this shit out, but you was too busy fucking everybody to do what you had to do for your child. Get the other side. I'm not saying here. Excuse me? Don't get in front of this motherfucking white man and sitting here and try to act like you some king of the moon and shit, and you trying to straighten your shit out. You ain't shit. You ain't never been shit. You come from a long line of niggas that wasn't shit. Excuse me, do not get in front of this little white man and show your ass. I'm, I'm not the one acting out, Timmy. <laughs> this is you. Oh, since so you're going to come here today, then you're going to leave and you're going to be a parent? You're going to make up for all the lost time? Is that what you come here to do? You are talking to me as if I never had a conversation with you about not wanting children. We talked about that. And you went on about, like, your, on your own you accord. You're a victim now? You a rape victim? I guess I gave you some shit in your drink. I'm Bill Cosby now. I'm me too and bitches. Get the fuck out of here. You know what it was when you did it. And what was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? Get rid of my kid to please yes. you? Yes. It's always yes. about you. That's why yes. it's about you. You're a selfish motherfucker. Did you come to D tell you he like men too? That he, he swing all both ways, come on, men, women, everybody? Did why? you tell God? Wow, we're not here for that. God That's not what we're here for. Oh, that part we don't talk about. But you want to talk about Kiko shit. Keith. His name is Keith. His name is Keith. Her name His name is, is Keith. Keith. His name is Keith. We had a fucking boy. His name is Keith. And you made it okay from walking around my fucking son to walk around in skirts and dresses and bras and shit for invisible fucking titties. That's not okay, Timmy. That shit is not okay. My daughter looks better than the last three bitches you've been with. Are you kidding me? Get the fuck out of here. You don't have a daughter. Yeah, I have a daughter. A beautiful daughter. You don't have no fucking daughter, A beautiful, daughter, Sammy. hard-working Come on. daughter that's responsible and respectful, and she loves me to death. And that How bothers you. many times that over the years have you I actually reached out? Snake in the grass. Dr. Bro, she won't tell you I reached out to her. She won't tell nobody I called and tried to get in touch with my child. She won't tell nobody that. She wants to pay the picture. Okay, I'm, I'm supposed to let that. you in my child's life and I see what's going on with my child. What do you think? He go went to keep up his grown for this? This shit has been in place since this was a little child. Why did you never tell me nothing? Because it wasn't your motherfucking business. So the whole time I'm, I'm coming to look for my... It wasn't your business. It wasn't my... You closet case run around. Listen here. Listen here, digging the booty. You trying to act like you some fucking Watch angel. Watch your mouth, Tammy. You're not an angel Watch and you mouth. can't take Kiko's transition but your shit is okay? You, on the other hand, always been you. Or you just fucking yours, yours, Dr. yours. Dr. Rose, Rose know you? Are you telling you? Are you in here playing butch to Dr. Rose? Does Dr. Rose know that you? Don't disrespect you, me, Tim. You, listen, how can you not accept Kiko and you fuck niggas yourself? How could you not I, accept Kiko? You got your own shit. I'm, we're not the same, Tim. Oh, you're not. You're different. We're you're not different. The same. You're the cocaine talking about crackhead. Fuck you. What you're no you? different. You're no different. It's the same Tammy, shit. That's not the, it's the it's same not the, it's shit. It's not the same thing. Why isn't it the same shit? Why isn't it the same shit? What makes her so different from you? What? My... You, yours is in the closet. Yours is hiding around here thinking you walk around his hat to the back like you like a chain snap. So it's the same she's thing. Her truth. A man walking around with, with, a, with a bra on and a skirt and in a dress. My daughter is beautiful. And it embarrasses you that she turned out to be good without you. Because you're so selfish, you think everybody, everything and everybody revolves around you. Go find one of them broke-ass bird bitches you've been fucking and tell them to listen to your bullshit. Because Dr. Rhodes or Rhodes, get in front of this white man playing these fucking games. I don't, and, and no disrespect, but I'm out of here. I got shit to do. You out of your Tell me, Tammy. Tammy, I'm, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You said you're sorry. I don't know what it started. You never said I'm sorry. In all these years, never once have you ever said you were sorry. I just did the best that I knew to do by myself. I grew up with a father in my life. I didn't know how to be a father to Kiko. So when Kiko transitioned, it was comfortable for me because I knew how to make sure she would be a dynamic woman. I didn't know how to make her make sure she's a strong man. I didn't know how to do any of that. I loved you so much at one time. And you broke me for no apparent reason. Why did it take you so long to say I'm sorry and spend all of this time? I'm walking around. I'm not, I don't even know who I am. I don't know who you are. You used to be a nice person. But then you had so many secrets. There's always some secret shit with you. This is what turned you into somebody else. When are you going to live in your truth? Putting Kiko down don't make it easier for you. It don't make it better for you. I can't even look at it. I can't, I can't look at it. Why? She's a reflection of who you are. She's a reflection of who you are. You can't look past other stuff to see the child that you could love. I don't care if Kiko came home and said, Mommy, I want to be a clown. I would love her regardless. You have to. You have, you have no, what, what do you think you're a fucking choice as a parent? You don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. You don't pick and choose some shit. I didn't have those choices. I couldn't be. I couldn't be less than tough. I know. And I couldn't be less you than You trying to be tough and you trying to be strong. You know what you did? You hurt all the people that cared about you. You hurt all the people that cared about you. That's what I told you. People cried so many years wanting to know where you were and why you didn't care about her. And I've done the best that I can, but I don't know what to do anymore. I'm not, I don't want to be mad anymore. I don't want you to be mad at me no more. I've carried this anger and shit so long for you to the point where it's killing me and I don't want to be angry anymore, but I'm not going to let you hurt my child. That I'm not going to let you do. I'm not going to let you hurt her. We used to be best friends. No other female knew as much about me, my sex life, what I like. You made me feel like Let's don't talk about that shit. Let's don't talk about that because I, you know what happened? You made me trust you. I never trusted anybody before. You made me trust you and you turned around and as soon as you found out, you just walked off like I didn't mean shit to you. Like I didn't mean shit to you. Was that tough? Is that what you needed to do? What did you have to prove? I was scared. I was scared. We could have been scared together. We could have still remained friends, but no, you just walked off and left everything on me. And then you blaming me for how Kiko turned out. Kiko's a wonderful girl. You at least to get to know her for this who she is. Life is a curse. This Kiko's happy. Kiko lives in a different time. It's different now. It's not like when you came along. It's different now. She can be free to be who she is, but she needs the support of her parents. My grandfather. Whenever he saw me like acting too much, I don't know how. I just don't know how. You have to. You have to. You just have to look inside yourself and think to yourself, how would I, why would I want to make her feel the way my grandfather made me feel? Why would you want to impose that on her? She has enough to deal with dealing with the world, and she's going to get that from you too. You don't think I wanted grandchildren? You think this was something easy for me so to why, do it by myself and why, that? Why did you make it okay? Because I did love you her. Ever try to I love her beyond anything. I love her beyond anything. And I would do anything for my child. Who would want to live that life too? Kiko. And she's strong. And she's happy. And you need to be a part of that happiness. How can you walk in here and judge her? How can you walk in here and I judge her? Who are you no different than your grandfather? You are your grandfather. You're just not hitting on her, but you are your grandfather, and all abuse doesn't have to be physical. Kiko needs the love of her father right now. This will be a great time for you to try to do something other than judge her. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I can't even, I don't even feel comfortable seeing her. Talking about my kid is seeing her. It disgusts me. To hear, you, to hear you call my son Kiko. 
And you know what? That same disgust that you feel, that shit that is this, that, that's your issue. That's not Kiko's issue, that's your shit. That's your shit because you're disgusted with who you are. You disgust it with how you love. Kiko don't have those issues. And that's why I didn't let you around because I wasn't gonna let you impose that on her. She didn't deserve it. She had enough to go through in school. You think it was easy for her in school? So you don't think if I was around, would have changed things? Your grandfather was around. Beat the shit out of you. Did it change anything? Did it change anything? No, it made you run in a hole like a rat and hurt a whole bunch of people and do a whole bunch of fucked up shit. I'm happy with that Kiko is in her life. I'm happy with where she is. I want to. I need a break. I'm sorry. It's about you again, right? Tell me, what, where you want me to come? What you want me to say? That you love your child unconditionally. Something nobody gave you. That's too much to ask. I don't know. It's not hard. When she first transitioned and she started to do certain stuff, it was hard for me. But I wouldn't look at what she had on. I would only look in her eyes. But if I look in her eyes, I would always see my child until it got easier and easier. And then it got to the point where I started to enjoy looking at her because she's so beautiful. She's a beautiful person and a beautiful girl. How could you not love her? I don't have any pictures. I don't have any memories, thank you. You chose not to have memories. You chose not to. I think you knew Kiko. I think you thought Kiko was going to be like you, and that's why you ran. <laughs> I never gave you a hard time. I never gave you a hard time, but I have to protect her. I have made sure I had to protect her. You don't never know what it's like living like this. Kiko doesn't live the life you live, and she doesn't live in the time that you live. All I'm asking you is just try. Just try. She's working. To know her, she's a great girl. I'm telling you, she's a great girl. I'll try. I'll try. That's all I can do. You gotta let me too. Would you let me? Yeah. Oh, under certain circumstances, of course. I have to protect, make sure I protect her at all costs. You have to use the correct pronouns when you talk to her. You cannot call her Keith. No, you listen to me. You cannot call her Keith. Do you understand? You have to use the correct pronouns. And when you introduce her, you have to introduce her as your daughter. And if you're not willing to do those things, you're not willing to love my daughter. Okay. How's there with the counselor working out for you? I don't want to talk. Frustrated. Every time I bring up something, you dismiss it. Why is everything so one sided? Because this is my shit, Sean. Look, you ask me about the counselor, I don't want to talk about it. That's my shit. I remember stuff in counseling that I tried my best my whole life to forget. I don't want this shit to affect me, so I don't want to talk about it. I got way more important shit to think about than this. How's that going? Shit, Sean. I'm trying. I know having a steady stream of income is important. But I'm trying to get myself together. Just, I don't want to talk to you. I mean, that's what's important. Like, you getting help and getting back out here and getting on your feet. I just want to be close to you right now. I don't want to talk. Can't solve everything by school talking to me. Right. Clint. Why you always can't talk? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Really? That's how you feel? I, I, I want to talk to you. Do you want to talk about this?
I am my hair. Do I get a hug or you look like shit? Your locks, you what happened to you? You ain't living that high life no more, huh? You need money. I need a couple of hundred. Oh. I still need your help with you. You know what? I got some nerve to ask me for anything after leaving me locked up. You left me locked up in jail, bro. Monica, do we have to go straight there? Can we have five minutes? Just five minutes of this. My sister. Your sister, nigga. That when you left me in that shit hole. I'm the only sister you have left. I'm less Johnny so. I was so hurt. The warden wouldn't let me out. What I feel. Boy. Why am I still alive? What the fuck is You'll say anything right no, about no, that. No, no, no. Boy, Rara's okay. She's still alive. So where's she at? Where is she then? clean clothes before grandma came and got you. I'm the one. Some type of way. I took the heat for you and got locked. 
locked up. So you can have a better life. I lost my kids. My kids was taken away from me. Okay. And it took me years to build a relationship with them. It was complicated, mother. It was complicated. When I, when I got on my ex-wife, I had to cut everybody off. Do you understand that I lost my kids? They were taken away from me. You wanted me to live a better life for myself. And I did. I did. Monica, I had to cut everybody off. I couldn't take no chances. Kevin, remember what we talked about? Do you remember what we talked about? Yes. Say it. Say it! If one of us ever got locked up, the other one would make enough money to make sure that the other was good when, when they got out, we had some of our back. Right. So, when you married into all this money, did you think about me and your nephews then? No. I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry? Don't mean shit. I can't even think of the things I had to do just to survive. Woke me up last night talking to you asleep. What did I say? You didn't say nothing specific, you were just moaning. It was nothing. Do you still think about the person that stabbed you? No, that's. <laughs> Trust me, he's gonna get his. Over this revenge shit. God gave you a second chance for a reason, man. Just do something good with it. Yeah, this is a chance like number four, five, six. <laughs> there must be a reason why I'm here, but I just. Maybe we just need to deal with whatever you run from. Did we just meet? I don't want nobody. Nothing. I didn't say someone, but I said something. The difference. <sighs> this question is too hard. She won't ask questions to me. Let's ask questions. Please don't piss me off. Let's ask questions. She want to ask questions. Let's ask questions. So, so. Sean, did something in your past make it easy for you to say about it? Like, what happened? I mean, you're one of my easiest tricks. You'll fuck just about anything. I, was it something from your childhood, or? You can't go with this shit. You can't flip this shit on me today. You can't ask me no fucking questions. You ain't answer none of mine. I know I love you. Hanging. Hanging. I ain't get no phone calls, no visits, no commissary, nothing. You left me hanging. Monica, <sighs> any move I made had to be something. When we got married, Father's family watched me like a fucking hawk, especially when it came to money. They ain't watch you close enough. Not after what I read. Wait, what'd you read? I need you to imagine this. Sitting in the cell six by eight all day. And, and you see your brother on this fancy magazine because he done married some half-breed bitch. Here I am thinking, you know, this will give me this high-priced lawyer and shit. Get me out of here. The joke was on me, right? I didn't have the money to power you to have. They tried everything they could to break me. Everything. Dick in your pants. Did they try to get you shot too? They think you know about that too. You know, I do a lot of reading when you're sitting in jail. Nobody at all. It's lucky. It's lucky nobody back home can make it. 
stands. I know. I was afraid of that. I was so close, man. I was so close to getting what I deserved. I finally actually felt like I was worth something. I was somebody. But I still need a deep whisper in my head. You ain't shit. You ain't shit if you ain't never called me shit. I'm tired, man. I don't have no more fight in me left. Day one, I'm done. I'm, I'm tired. You know what? You sound like a fucking pussy right now. As long as you have a breath in your body, you have fight left in you. I don't have them. I was coming here to kick your ass, but I, I don't believe in kicking folks when they don't lay down. I don't have nothing. Yes. You do. Hustling is in our blood. You are supposed to be left. You are supposed to be without. No, I mean, answer me. You so fluid, right? So answer me. Sure. What happened in your childhood that made you grow up to be like an easy trick? Like, I, I want to know, like, what snapped? At what point in your life did you snap and be like, you know what, I'm just going to fuck anything? It's a gift for that, so I want to know. So earlier, you tell me you love me and now you're calling me a trick. I mean, I'm just calling like I said. The fuck off me. <laughs> oh. Oh, now you don't want to talk. I struck a nerve. Huh? I thought that you was done being an asshole. And becoming a normal person, then here you go with this bullshit again. Sean, I wanna know, wait, 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 wait. What do you consider normal, huh? What the fuck do you consider normal? Growing up like the Cosby's? Was that normal for you? Or 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 getting tucked in bed with milk and cookies? Like, cause I wanna know what, what's normal for you, Sean. That's not what I meant. You walk around bullshitting every motherfucking body. That's because you can't deal with your own demons. You think shit didn't happen to me? I dealt with the shit and brushed it off. Life is easy that way, Clint. So you, you think I want to walk around like this? That's what it seems like. I wish I could just brush the shit off, Sean, but I can't. Life has been good since the day I was born. Sean. Sob story again. You know what? When I moved out on my own, I promised myself that I would never, ever roll over and play that for anyone. And not even for somebody that claims to love me. So You the one who make it hard for people to love you. You make people hate you, Clint. That's because of you. And that's why the fuck you gonna end up alone. Sean, everybody in the left. Everybody you let into your life will hurt you. Everybody that you let in will eventually hurt you and let you down. So I prefer to, to be in control of when that happens. And I suggest you do the same thing. Uh, <clears throat> will you say that? Stay with a friend. Male or female? <laughs> Bail. Uh, came up the class again. You know, I don't believe in labels. Yeah, when it comes to that cash, right? <laughs> right. No, you still ain't shit. That's a fact. Yes, understand you. Uh, uh, uh. I respect his privacy. I respect the job.
chores. Father, we will see. No, I bring you up. Why the fuck should I? Why would I? They remind me of us growing up. Everything mama taught us, when she was high as shit. I wasn't the best mother. I didn't get the best mother. We were the children of pimps and hustlers. We had hustlers and pimps for a while. We never even knew what we were doing. Don't Motherfuckers, get yours by any means necessary. It's system. Yo, let's get the fuck out of this office now. <laughs> Do you hear yourself, Clint? You know how fucked up you sound right now? Why do you even care, Sean? Why do you care? You don't love me, so why do you care? In the beginning, I was thawing too, but this, this shit ain't for me. You ain't no different from none of the Johns that I fuck with. The only thing is they got money. The other difference is I'm not looking for redemption inside of your asshole. So there's that. Sean, I regret that I even put you into this life. I do. I don't. I learned so much from you, Clint. Thank you. I see so much potential inside you, Sean. I do. I look at you and I see a younger version of myself. <laughs> Stop <laughs> escorting. Stop escorting. Or you're going to wind up just like me. So you letting this little bit of money you making get to your fucking head. I don't want you to get the game fucked up. Because baby boy, the same way that I made you is the way that will break your motherfucking ass. No that. With what resources? <laughs> no what? Mm -hmm. I think it's time for you to get your stuff and go. Oh. So now you put me out your aunt's house. You put me out your aunt's house. That's funny. Well, that's fine. You know, it's like my nanny used to say, Sean. When you live fast, you'll die a beautiful corpse. But in your case, average. You'll die an average corpse. It's tough that, right? You should go to Kiko's. I think she got a room for you. It's time for you to go to uh, I'm good. I'm glad I'm out before things get ugly. Oh, uglier. Yeah. So the worst thing that can happen is I'll choke you the fuck out, right? Let's just leave it at that. I don't think you'll like authority too much, do you?
Why did you call me here? After all this time, you finally wanted me to sit in on one of your sessions? I mean, my earlier sessions was about my earlier life. And after the way things ended a few weeks ago, I just thought it would be good for you to come sit in on one. You was asking questions, so you hear now. Why did you tell me you love me? Because I do. Why well, does that? That's I mean, bothering you? Any man can say that they love you when they about to nut, but I mean, it's just all words to me. Why are you even just bringing this up now to happen? That was sweet spot. Because I just keep, I keep thinking about it. Uh, I fucked you up, huh? Yeah, it did. You know, I love them. I love the man once. And he hurt me. I gave him everything and let my guard down. And he hurt me. He hurt you? Mr. Invincible? No, he didn't hurt you, Clint. I don't claim to be invincible. I never said that. I mean, that's what you showed me. You act like nothing or nobody can hurt you. Our relationship was like a drug. Shit. And like a fiend, I did some crazy shit to keep her. I lied. I cheated. I almost fucking killed somebody. You snitching on yourself right now? Nah. I was still stoned. I did some fucked up shit to him. You do fucked up shit to everybody, Glenn. I'm not proud of it. But it was necessary at the time. And you telling me all this for what? You want me to trust you again? No. I'm, I've been purging so much of my old life, of my old self in here. Shit, man. Why not my emotions too, right? I mean... You being so transparent and open, it's kind of making me believe that you have a heart somewhere. Do you feel that? I don't feel shit. Well, it beats showing, just like yours, and this endured shit that could last two lifetimes. Hurt and pain made me the man that I am, so I'm allowed to have moments. The victim has to don't get to play the victim, Clint. That's what you're not getting. Matter of fact, I don't want to meet your fucking doctor. I don't want to be in on this. Therapy session, you fix your own shit. Just so you mad? Really? Fuck you too, Sean. I guess now's the time for you to face the moment you all want me to face, huh? Thanks for letting me come over. You look sexy. This wasn't a social call. I thought you was here to talk about business. I am here to talk about business, but there's different types of business. What's this about, Troy? Why are you here? I miss you. There's no miss me. I don't fuck with you like that. Why don't you fuck with me like that? You was just fucking with me every way that you could not too long ago. Because, Troy, everything about you is trouble. Trouble that you like. No, nah, look, look, look at everything that you did since you got here. Never it's been like nothing what? but trouble and chaos. You fucked up me and Kiko. Then you went around your mouth and told Kiko what we had going on. Because she was in my way. You kept trying to go back on some stupid shit. <sighs> That's not even here, yeah. But then 
You got me feeling shit for dudes that I never felt, and that shit was crazy. I got you feeling. Yeah, I never fucked with no dude before fucking with you, but... So it's my fault that you're attracted to me. I'm, it's not you that I'm attracted to. I'm attracted to dudes, but you did let me know that, so thank you. Because now I can accept that... I, I, I do like dudes. And, and I like trans girls. But you being here is going to fuck up my happiness. And I'm not letting that go down. I just got it back. <laughs> I'm going to fuck up your happiness. If anything, it seems like I'm guiding you to happiness. Nah. Nah. I, I don't fuck with people like you. You're a manipulator, so you got to go. So you got like five minutes. So I'm the manipulator for freeing you from that fucked up prison of a relationship you had with Kiko. Where y'all both was just babying each other, using each other for what y'all could get. Troy, Kiko loved me. And she did not want nothing from me but me. I never felt love like that from nowhere, from nobody. You know how hard that is to come past and you just fucked it up? I fucked it up. You fucked it up. You told Kiko everything. Nigga, if you it really love Kiko, control. you wouldn't have been lying. You wouldn't have cheated on her. We wouldn't have fucked. So if you truly loved her as much as you say you did, you would be blaming yourself and not me. I did love I, I love Kiko. I just wanted some type of control. I wanted more. But I'm the manipulator. What it seemed like to me is you and Kiko used each other because it was convenient. She needed somebody to baby, and you needed to be baby by a mommy figure. You really like niggas. You talking shit is not going to get your point across. I'm not talking shit. I'm speaking the truth. That's You're speaking your truth. My truth? So why did you escort? Did I make you escort? Or did you do it because you wanted to be up under me? Who you really love, Sean? Let me know. I had love for money, love for power, love for control. It wasn't for you, Troy. Get that out your fucking head. <laughs> so how was you in control if I was in charge running shit? You think you was in control, really? You was cool as long as we was in bed fucking. That's all you wanted to do. Three minutes. Are you going to say anything? Why did you contact me? You look so nice. You know what? When you reached out, I just, I just had to come to you. What was your next plan? What was your next, what was your next plot? I don't. So I'm going to ask you one more time. Why did you contact me? Ashton. I miss you. I, I'm in therapy, Ashton. As you can see, that's why we're here. Okay, we in therapy. Nigga, we're therapists. I'm private. I didn't want to talk to you in front of nobody. So you brought me here saying that you were in therapy and it's no therapist. So what we got to talk about? I miss you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, so you're the therapist. That's what you're telling no. me. The therapist gave me the tools that I needed to be able to keep myself calm. To be able to talk to you. I'm so proud of you. So when the therapist comes back, you let me know. Wait, please. Please let me talk to you. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I don't want to battle with you. You're right. I'm wrong. You're right. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I can't take back none of the things that I did to you. Right. I can't change right. none of the shit I did. Right, especially having everybody believe that I was my twin brother. And having me believe it too. I'm coming, I, I, I don't know who I am. Ashton. You did not write you, sorry. Ashton, I take ownership of everything that I've done to you. I can't change anything, but I need you to know that I am, I, Carry regret, and I'm sorry. Are you fucking sorry? Sean, let me be real with you. 
That family and love shit that you keep talking about, that shit ain't real. Because if it was real, those same motherfuckers you think love you will be here for you. Not me. What happened to you, Troy? What happened to me? Bro, what the fuck are you talking about? Something had to happen to you for you to be so cold-hearted and distant from everybody. Nah, I'm cold-hearted and distant from ones who don't matter. You matter, so I'm right here. You see the difference? You see how love is more than just words? Troy, you don't know the difference between love and sex. How don't I know the difference between love and sex? This whole conversation, you've been talking about how we was fucking. That had nothing to do with what me and Kiko had. What me and Kiko had was real love. No, what, what me you, and you had was just sex. It was just sex. It was just sex. So me, selling my body for you. You selling your body for me was just sex. That's that's what you're saying? How did Kiko show you that she loved you? As soon as she caught me and you fucking, she got rid of you. She cut you loose, bruh. She don't give a fuck about you. She don't want you no more. The shit's dead. She don't love you. Why the fuck did you come back here? Because I love you. Didn't I just explain it to you? If somebody gives a fuck about you, they will be here. Like I am. I fucking hate you, Troy. No the fuck you don't. You hate me? You sure about that? I hate everything about you. <laughs> but I want you to. Ashton, Ashton, please. Ashton, I don't want to fight you. Please don't make me do this. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I, I didn't call you for that. Please, can we talk? So tell me what you sorry for. For lying to me. For ruining my life. Wait, no. For making me think that you was gonna leave your wife for me? And then in return, having her come and fuck my life up? And that's what you sorry for? Wait, no, 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 let me stop you. Chill, Ashton. For the shit you did to Winston. Knowing that I was the only person that I could ever love. Are you love. fucking kidding me? Are you serious right now? And then you wake me up, you take me out of the grave, and then make me think that you're some savior. And then mentally fuck my mind up to make me think that I'm my brother? You got a lot of shit to be sorry for. You got a lot of shit to be sorry for too. You walking around acting like you so fucking mad at me. What about what I've done for you? I gave my whole life up for you and you, I'm a liar, I'm a liar, I'm a liar. When I first met you, I didn't do shit but tell you the truth. Everything I told you was the truth. How'd you find out I was married? I fucking told your ass. And then, I wanted to make your life better. I know it's like not to have nothing, so I wanted to make your life better. I still don't have nothing. I gave you my savings for your startup money, you know that? That was my savings. To start your fucking business. And then when the shit didn't go right, I had to start dipping inside Fallon's money. But I did everything I could for you. And you make me feel guilty for this? I'm not making you feel guilty for shit. But what, what, what feels crazy to me is that the motherfucker that buried your ass alive, you love him. The yes, yes I injected you with something. Yes, and his ass too. But I loved you, Ashton. They poisoned you against me, and then and I came back and you were so angry with me. And I can't help that I think about your ass every day. I can't help that you invade my fucking dreams. I can't help but feel the way that I feel, but I'm trying. And you walking around here, you so fucking mad. You so fucking tough. Like your, your life was the only life that got fucked up, that got screwed over. You changed my life. You made me like this. I ain't never give a fuck. I ain't gonna fuck! And then here you go. Living your life, walking up in mine. I'm tired. I'm tired of feeling like this. Come here. I can't 
keep doing this. Yes, you can. First cunt, and now you. That like, sorry ass, old ass niggas. Look. I, you but good. it's the same thing. It's the same pattern. Like, y'all keep just trying to manipulate me and control me. I ain't trying to manipulate you. This is. What, I'm like, trying to take care of you. This is supposed to be business. It is business. So and what, I get why you confused. You don't know what you like, and that's fine. That's cool. You like me, and you like doing what you got to do for the money. Don't don't beat yourself up for that. Just embrace it. A- accept it and own it. I promise you, if you do, you'll feel so much better. Don't. Don't. Kiss me. Sean. Come on. Just give in. If you give in, I promise you, you ain't gonna feel like this. Ashton, please. Please. I love you so much. You don't understand, I, I love you so much and you just, you won't listen to me. I told you the truth, but you just, you won't listen. You won't let me in. And I love you so much and you love the man that fucking raped me. This man took something from me that I will never get back. Do you understand? I wanted to kill this man. Right, and that's the reason why I can't be with Winston to this day. Because of you. You still talking about you want to be with him? This motherfucker took something from me I will never get back. Right, yeah, you did too. Mentally rape me every single day. Okay. I dug you up out the ground with my bare hands. Right, and manipulated me to discard you like you were a fucking pet. Like you were a toy. He buried you in the backyard and went all his fucking life. And you... So yes... When I dug your ass up and you were in a fucking coma, and by the way, it was not easy bringing you back. I didn't have no fucking shovels and no tools. Yes, when you woke up and you don't remember none of this shit, yes, I was wrong, I lied to you. Yes, I manipulated you. But when you looked at me through those eyes like you, I missed you. I miss you seeing me like your hero. I should not carry you. You were my hero at one point. I didn't change, Ashton. Yes, you have. I'm still the same person. I did not change. Just stop. <laughs> just, just, please stop. Please listen to me. Let me in. Just give me a chance. You ain't no better than I Winston. don't just stop. I can't believe you just said that to me. I'm not no better than Winston. So what you thought Winston was better? Like he, you really, really thought this dude was an upgrade? Like he was gonna come in and change? What did he tell you? This is not about a Winston. I don't understand. What did they tell you about me though? What did they, I, I've shown you who I am. This is not about Winston, stop. What is it about then? What is it about? I don't know. Like you tell me what is it about? If it's not about Winston, it's not about me loving you, and it's not about me being sorry, what, what is it about? This is just about you owning up to what you've done. You told me to come here. It wasn't the other way around. You keep making this about me. Stop. It's just frustrating me even more and more. Stop manipulating me. I'm not manipulating you. You think I, you think I want to feel like this? Do you think I want to carry you? Do you think I want to walk around carrying you and thinking about you all fucking day? I don't want that shit. I can't control it. Shit. Damn. 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 Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Shit.
shit. Go for me, shit. Shit, son. Fuck. You gonna come with me? You gonna come? You gonna come, baby? Go fast. Shit. he's done with all the lies he told you what makes him better he helped father ruin your life what makes him better than me i don't want to do this anymore just stop lying lying you're doing it now i'm not doing i'm telling you the truth if you expect me to think that you have a sudden change from a couple of days of therapy just stop i've been in therapy for months clint don't contact me anymore. Ashley, please. Leave me alone. Ashley, I love you. I don't want to. Please just stop. You don't get it. I don't know what else to do. I just got to figure my life out. Leave me alone. Ashley, please stop touching me. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry I am. Please, just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. that she was talking about on the phone. That's why you're here. And you still ain't said nothing about making money. All right, all right, chill, chill, chill. So while I was out of town, I came across some shit. Some shit like what? Some drugs that if we sell, it'll make us all the money that we need. We won't even need an escort no more. All that selling yourself, that shit'll be dead. Everybody's selling coke out here. Like, what's making this different? Like, this is, I heard all this shit before. I'm not selling coke. I'm not selling shit that these niggas out here could get their hands on. Then what the fuck is you talking about? Tina. Tina. <sighs> Crystal meth. Meth. <sighs> meth. Yeah, meth. I mean, that's going into territories I don't know nothing about. That's fine. I don't want you to know shit about it, except for what I teach you. Because I'm going to be the one moving this shit. And I got you. You can trust me. You know you can trust me, right? The moment shit start going wrong, I'm out. But I tried out for a moment. Just think about it. You think about it, I'll give you whatever the fuck you need so you can move out of Easton so you can take care of yourself. We gonna do this together as a team. You hear me? I think about it. Sleep on it. <laughs> 